Hey, what's going on guys? It's Evan from Model3D and I've just had a parcel that I'm super excited about. This is from E3D Online and it's their V6 12 volt full hot end kit. It has the Bowden add-on and was £47 plus shipping direct from E3D Online. This is going to be one of the many upgrades that's going to be on my XYZ DaVinci 1.0A. So let's switch to the other view and get this thing unboxed. So here we have the box. It's got the E3D Online branding as well as their tape. I've already cut the tape just to speed up the process a bit. So inside you've got the E3D uh, delivery note. This says that it was picked and checked and signed for to prove it. You've got the little business card with their information and um, basically telling you to read the documentation on the Wikipedia page. You've got E3D sticker. It's packing peanuts out of the way. And first up, you've got the electronics uh, bag. This has got the um, NTC thermistor, the heater cartridge, um, the fan, the fiberglass wire, the ferrules, everything like that. We've got a lovely pack of Haribo sweets. Can never say no to Haribo. We've got the PTFE tube for the Bowden add on. And then in here will be all your uh, metal parts. Let's move this box out of the way. So in here you have the aluminium heat sink. You've got all the fixings. So your little screws, your allen keys, that kind of stuff. In here you have the aluminium heater block. The brass nozzle, this is a 0.4mm. You've got the stainless steel heat break and some heat sink compound. Alright, that's everything in the box. So next up is going to be a little time lapse of me building this, so let's cut to that. So there we go, it's all assembled, it's all tied up together, ready to go on my printer. There's a lot more fiddly than I was expecting. Um, so if you are kind of like not great at doing little fiddly things, um, I would suggest paying the extra £10 and getting the pre-assembled version. Um, I think E3D have recently just added this, so it'll be a great help for those of you who think you might struggle with something this kind of small. So the next video will be me installing this guy on my XYZ 1.0A. If you like the video, please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.